One of the things that I love about information security is when the barrier to entries get dropped, meaning that more people have access to more technology. You've seen me compromise this lock using a Proxmark. Can I do it with an iCopy X? So in my previous video about the iCopy X, I talked about how it can replace an awful lot of the equipment here. But today I want to do a very practical demonstration of what this device is incredibly good at. Now, whilst things like a Proxmark are incredibly powerful and are a Swiss army knife for being able to crack open radio frequency ID cards, the iCopy X really allows you to do some of the things that you can do on here, but to do them an awful lot more easily. And today I'm going to show you how to take this card, which works on this lock and unlock that lock using the iCopy X. And for that, I don't need any of this. I just need this and the box of cards it comes with. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to bring that camera in a lot closer so that you can see what's going on on the screen of the iCopy X. And then I'm going to flip back out of it wider screen so we can then have a look at the lock and verify that the card that we copy does actually open this particular door. Okay, so the iCopy X is now turned on. Let's take the original card, which would be the Yale card, and place it on the reader. And let's go to the top option, which you can see up here, which is auto copy. Let's press go. So it's identified it as a MyFair Classic, which is exactly right. It's now reading, it's just cycling through keys. It's now done a read successful, so we can now take the card off. And now I've got reread or write as my two options. So let's select right as the option I want. And it now says, please enter an M14 B card. Now, with, if you buy the right pack, with your, um, uh, your device, you will receive all of these different cards and you'll notice that they're all, uh, they're all labeled. So we wanna grab the M14 B card. We place it on. We press right. And it's just come up and said, right successful. So let's see if that card will now uh, unlock that lock. So we can now pick up our card and see whether the card works on the lock. And I'd say that is a successful copy of this card. So there you have it. What used to take a little bit of time using a Proxmark can now be achieved with someone with very, very little skills with one of these. Um, and that's what I love about this is, I love my Proxmark, but you do need, let's be frank, to have some kind of Linux skills, or you need to be able to compile up your own firmware, you need to have some kind of idea of what you're doing. Um, it's incredibly flexible, and but it does require a little bit of knowledge to work out how to do various things. Whereas on this device, all you need to be able to do is follow the prompts on screen, put a card on there, put another card on there, and then you can do an awful lot of the things that you can do on the Proxmark, but just on this device here. So in summary, where do I see the iCopy X fitting into an arsenal? Well, if you're a red teamer and you don't want to go through all of the hassle of teaching your people who work for your company or people who work with you how to copy certain types of radio frequency ID card, this will be an absolute lifesaver because it means you can provide this to your users, send them in somewhere and they can just copy cards. If you are investigating the own, your own security of your own building, this device, very, very helpful. It allows you to be able to validate what have I got and what are the threats against those particular card types. And how easy is it to do those things? If you want to do radio frequency ID card cloning, this is the device. So that's all I've got time for for this video. Please mash that like button, subscribe button, whichever ones you want to do, or both. Share this video where you get your information security information on social media from, and please 
Drop anything down in the comments below. Did I miss anything? Did I get anything wrong? Do you want to see anything else? Do you want to see something different? I do read, I do listen to the comments below. And um, until next time, don't compromise anything you shouldn't. Bye. <laughs>